Hello, Cancer. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like bu uh, button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if this reading resonates. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into your messages. Let me see. Okay, that's better. Let's go ahead and dive into your messages and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Okay, spirit, love, and light, truth, and clarity. Please give me clear messages for the sign of cancer. Clear messages for the sign of cancer, please, and thank you. What messages do you have for a sign of cancer at this time, please, and thank you. The answers you need are coming. Be bold and make the first move. Believe in the impossible. Okay. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. You also have cardinal signs here. So you're a cardinal sign as well. Capricorn. You have Aries and Libra, is it? No, it's, um, yeah, it's Libra, isn't it? I may have it mixed up. Forgive me. It's been a long day. <laughs> okay, but I'm definitely seeing here, either you guys are being asked to be bold and courageous towards expressing the way you feel about someone, or someone is about to make that move towards you. Because I'm getting that this is someone that you, it's like you wouldn't expect this person to come towards you the way that they are about to. But someone is about to come towards you and express the way they feel. Or you guys could be doing this towards someone else. Take it as it resonates, but I'm definitely getting strongly here. Um, I'm getting like if you're a male, you're the one who is about to do this. And if you're a female, this person is about to do this towards you. Some of you guys, I'm getting someone will be disappointed in this situation. Or you guys have been disappointed by this person. Because I'm getting some of you guys like this person disappointed you. And now it's like you're focusing. It's like not wanting to, but it's like you feel like you have to just move forward and leave this person behind. Because you feel like there's nothing coming about this situation. And that's why you're being, that's why it says believe in the impossible. Because you guys are at a point with this person. Some of you guys could say like they'll never do this. They'll never do something. They're, they'll never approach you. But that's exactly what they're about to do. This person was like shy, actually. They were scared to come towards you. And now they're working up the courage to do it. other messages are coming through for you guys at this time. make this and my ear is ringing now i can't make this stuff up y'all have the two of cups with the lovers and the six of wands so this is someone with the king of wands being in reverse i'm not getting negative energy here i'm actually getting like this is someone you're not expecting to make a move towards you but that's exactly what they're about to do because I'm getting that you guys have released this person or you're in the process of releasing this person. You're focusing on your success, meaning you're focusing on a particular career endeavor, your focus, your business, your finances. You're getting out, you're enjoying your time with some close friends here. 
some of you guys will have a decision to make a choice to make in love um and the decision that you guys will be making will be like someone that you have um it's, it's like a great connection between you and this person because I'm getting this like friendship. It's a lot of attraction between the two of you. And then there's someone else that you have like a deep spiritual connection with here. Yeah. So you guys are definitely in the process. It's like getting unstuck. That's what I'm getting with the hangman in reverse. So the hangman reverse also talks about looking at a situation from a different perspective here. I'm getting that you see someone for, you see the truth in someone. You, you're seeing the truth in a particular situation. So some of you guys could be releasing someone who just never took action towards you. And then it's like, as soon as you do, that relationship, that person of your dreams finally comes into your life. Temperance, yeah, something that you guys have been waiting on for some time, but it took you guys getting unstuck from a particular situation. So it took you releasing someone here, finally seeing someone for the person that they truly are. Some of you guys, the other message I'm getting is that you guys needed to wake up to your own self-worth, like needing to really realize your worth here um, in order to attract the type of relationship that you've been wanting. Yes, because now you guys are attracting the right type of relationship towards you. You guys are about to be in a good relationship here. Someone who treats you very well. Whereas in the, in the past, you guys dealt with some people that were very shady towards you. I don't care if it's friendships, uh, relationships in general. I'm getting that you guys attracted people that were shady towards you. And now you have realized your self-worth. You realize that you don't deserve, nor should you. Uh, put up with particular uh, relationships anymore or particular type of situations anymore. So now you guys are making sure that the people that you surround yourself with is you don't feel like you're being taken advantage of or you don't you don't feel like basically that's it. You don't feel like you're being taken advantage of by these people. I don't care if it comes to like somebody talking behind your back but you're loyal to this person Y'all are not making excuses for anyone anymore because you don't want to feel that way. It's like the way that some people have tried to make you feel in the past. You guys don't want to feel that way anymore. So you're fine with releasing certain people now where like you used to try to hold on to these connections, basically kiss ass, but you're not doing that anymore. If someone like dips out on you, then it's, well, they're gone. They're gone. Y'all aren't trying to figure out like why, what happened, what's wrong. If if someone ghosts you, then you're taking that automatically as your sign. Peace out. All right. So you're definitely going from a situation where it's like you put a lot of effort towards a particular situation and nothing came about from that situation. Now there's something that's about to be balanced out in your life. I'm getting this as like regarding love because you have the queen of cups here. There is someone obsessing over you. They can't stop thinking about you, but I'm getting it's like they make the wrong, like their approach towards you is all wrong. Because they try to do it in such like, they try to do it in a way to protect themselves. And in the process, they end up hurting you and themselves. King of Swords, yeah. They play too many mind games. This person tends to obsess over situations or they're at least obsessing over this situation with you. And the issue here is that they, instead of just allowing something to naturally be like me and this person is in love with you. So instead of just, I'm in love with someone, you know, I'm going to treat this person right. I'm going to take them out on a date. We're going to do the thing that normal people do when they're in love with someone. 
This person instead, they're playing so many mind games, so many mind tricks, trying to protect their own emotions here, trying to protect themselves from getting hurt. That is leading towards their own downfall here because they're going to end up being very disappointed when you move on from this connection with them and towards and towards something new and better. And it's only their fault because they sat up here and they kept playing all of these mind games with you because they're about to lose you to someone else and they're going to see you in a really great relationship. You're definitely releasing this person. You see them as a burden here and they're will be people fighting for your affection. There's someone, this person has turned you off. You're not, you don't get turned on by this person like you used to. And this is someone, it's like you were holding on to this connection for some time. Some of you guys could have been like four years has been going back and forth between you and this person. But y'all are like really finding yourself at a point in this connection where it's like you don't get thrilled about this person like you used to. Yes, you guys are about to have a new beginning with the emperor here. So this is going to be someone who definitely offers you a long-term commitment. Someone that's going to make you very happy. This person, like their energy is completely different than what you are used to. It's completely different. It's going to feel like a whole new world. This is the type of relationship, the type of connection where it's going to be like you went through so much and you're going to be telling people like how blessed you are to be with the person that you are. Like they came into my life and this person was such a blessing because I've been through so much before I met this person. So it's like a breath of fresh air when you meet them. This is someone, it's like they're going to make you feel very safe, very safe and secure. They're very protective over you. This person is like bears are very protective. And they will claw somebody to death that harms like someone that they love. This person has two different energies and it's like very protective. They're also like intimidating as well because they're very serious. It's like whatever they do, they take it very serious. They're a hard worker. They're dedicated. They're loyal. They have accomplished a lot in their life. And they will bring like a lot of stability and structure into yours. But this is someone who's, they're always going to give you sound advice. But you too, it's like y'all um, connect with each other very well. This person could be older than you too. But this is what I'm getting because especially my females out here, and males take it as it resonates because you guys coming across as this emperor here, like you're at the top of your game and you really want someone to match your energy. Females, I'm seeing it's like you guys being with someone, it's like you guys have like two separate energies here. You're attracting someone that's very grounded, someone that brings you a lot of stability. They work a lot as well. They're a very hard worker, but they're loyal and dedicated to whoever they love and they this person loves you a lot i'm saying like because you guys are in a connection with this person they give you the security that you need to feel safe and free to be yourself some of you guys like could have always been guarded like a phrase open up some of y'all could have been holding on to toxic relationships with family or friends because just feeling like you need support, but it wasn't the right type of support. It wasn't any support at all. This person is about to set you free of all of that. Because you just feel like secure with this person. Nine of Cups, they're going to make you very happy. This new beginning is definitely going to be a wish fulfillment here. A wish fulfillment manifested into life manifested into reality with this person.
So you guys are being guided towards the right relationship here. The right person is definitely coming into your life, but you guys are intuitively being guided towards who's the right person for you. You guys will know. I'm getting someone also from the past that you possibly have children with wants to meet up with you. They're trying to convince you to take a risk on um, reconciling with them, being in a relationship. But this person truly wants you to rescue them out of some mess that they have got themselves into. They're really needing your help and your support. They could be struggling financially, struggling with other issues as well. It could be, this person could have gambled as well and lost a lot of money. They took a risk towards something here and now they're needing a lot of help. They're needing you to rescue them out of this situation. I'm getting also that a lot of people have cut this person off too. A lot of people are no longer dealing with this person. And so they feel alone and lost in the dark without you. You guys have someone else who is interested in you and you're not really aware of how this person truly feel. But this is someone like you consider a, ooh. This is someone that you guys could like consider a friend. You're saying that this person is a friend. Now I got another message here. Some of you guys, I'm definitely getting y'all, this, y'all are going to be in a completely new relationship. But some of you guys have a friend here someone that you like you had a lot of good times with this person you're very close with this person this person is like you guys are unaware of some backstabbing this person like is something really negative here with this person some sort of betrayal with this person you guys could intuitively be picking this up some of you guys could be tarot readers um you have psychic abilities here i'm getting some of you guys could be like establishing something in your life you could be doing like youtube videos as well tarot readings or something here um with the mystic arts and it's like a lot of people are attracted to you because they find you very mysterious. You guys have a friend here. And y'all could into intuitively be picking this up, but it's someone that you have like a lot of great memories with this person. Um, this person is toxic to you. They're doing something behind your back to destroy your reputation or what you're trying to establish in your life. And spirit wants you to be aware of that, to be cautious like not to entertain this, if, especially if you guys are getting like signs and synchronicities or intuitively picking up that this person doesn't have good intentions towards you. What sucks is I'm getting like, this is like a best friend to someone, like someone that you really have fond memories with and you feel like you're very close to this person. I'm getting that you guys are going to, it's a lot of changes that are about to take place in your life for the better, but it's also, um, you're also going to end up disconnecting from several people here because there are people that it's like, you have good intentions towards, you would like to like enjoy uh, the fruits of your labor with this, these people. But the thing is, these people don't want you to have any fruit. They don't want you to be successful. They're doing things to sabotage you. So, yeah, the change that is taking place in your life is new love. But you guys will have an ex-lover coming back uh, trying to meet up with you. I'm getting some of you guys, this person will be calling you. Y'all could have this person blocked um, because I'm getting that it wasn't a good ending. Like, the way that you're... It's like it wasn't a good ending. Like there's no love there. Like it's love lost. It's like no hard feelings, but I just don't want that person a part of my life at all. That's just it. It's like you're just done with this person. So it's like you guys have new love coming in. Some of you guys, it will be in the fall. I'm getting strongly for some of you guys. 
or some of you guys like this change occurs right at springtime. And this will be a long-term relationship. So I'm getting spring and fall. And some of you guys will be like California. I'm picking that up. But I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all love and support. And I'll send it right back to you guys. With that being said, you all take care.